Hello, in this video we're going to talk about double integrals over general regions. We'll begin with the definition. A plane region D is said to be type 1 if it lies between the graphs of two continuous functions of x. So I'd like to show you the pictures first and then we'll talk about this notation for set D. So the idea is that the x bounds for the region are are real numbers, just real numbers a and b. But the bounds for the y-coordinates are two functions. They're functions of x, right? They pass the vertical line test. If we put the vertical line test here, we would see it only crosses the function once. And so by a type 1 region, we mean that if we were to put, you know, a little person in here or an arrow or something like that, um, the, the left and right endpoints are honest to goodness numbers, real numbers, and then the upper and lower bounds, those are some functions of x. Okay, and so all three of these pictures represent type 1 regions. There are also type 2 regions, and we'll talk about that in another video. So if we have a type 1 region, we have a method for computing the integral over d. If f is a continuous function on a type 1 region D such that D equals the set containing points x, y such that a is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to b and g sub 1 of x is less than or equal to y is less than or equal to g sub 2 of x then the double integral over D of f of x, y, dA equals the integral as x goes from a to b the integral of g1 of x up to g2 of x of f of xy dy dx. So I think it's helpful to look at an example and then we'll really understand what's going on here. Okay, so for our example we want to evaluate the double integral over region D of x plus 2y dA where D is the region bounded by y equals 2x squared and y equals 1 plus x squared. Alright, so let's start off with a three-step approach. So for step one, I recommend that you draw region D. And we will follow these same three steps for the next several sections of work in Calc 3. So it's good to get in, in, in these good habits right now. So let's draw region D. So I've got the XY plane and region D lives between these two curves. So if I draw y equals 2x squared, that's going to look something like that. And if I draw the curve y equals 1 plus x squared, that's going to look a little bit different. And I'm going to put that in a different color here. That's going to look like a parabola shifted up one unit. And so our region D is this region between these two parabolas. Okay, so there is region D. And again, it's good to think about a, an arrow or a little person standing in here and think about what is the roof or the, the upper bound for them and what's their lower bound. And also, we need to figure out what is uh, the left-hand endpoint A and what is this right-hand endpoint B. Well, a little bit of computation to find the intersection points. We set, we set the two curves equal to each other. So we have a 2x squared equal to a 1 plus x squared. And let's see, we've got x squared equals 1, and so x equals plus or minus 1. So these left and right hand endpoints here are uh, negative 1 and 1 respectively. All right, so let's summarize what we have. Region D is the region where x is bounded between negative 1 and 1, and our y values go between these two functions. And the lower bound for this is a 2x squared, and then the upper bound is the 1 plus x squared. So that's our region D. Step 2, we want to set up the integral. Set up the integral. And for our integral, you know, we, we need to put the uh, honest to goodness numbers on the outside, right? So for a type 1 region, that means we're going to have x equals negative 1 to 1, 
And then our next layer in for the integrals is going to be y equals 2x squared up to a 1 plus x squared. Our integrand for this problem was x plus 2y. And then to match up with these integrals, let's see, we need a dy, that's what we need, and then the outermost layer of integration, that's an integral in terms of x, so I need a dx on the end, and I'll put that right here. Okay, so we know how to do these iterated integrals. What we're going to do is we're going to work on the inside first, and we're going to do an integral with respect to y. All right, so I'm going to copy down the, the outer layer here. We've got x equals negative 1 up to 1 and a dx on the outside. Let's do this integral on the inside. Well, the integral of x with respect to y is just going to be xy. x is acting like a constant, and so the antiderivative of that is just going to be xy. And now, working on this next term, the antiderivative of 2y integrating with respect to y, of course, that's just going to be y squared. And we're going to integrate from y equals 2x squared up to 1 plus x squared. Okay, so let's plug in. On the outer layer, we still have x equals negative 1 to 1, and I'm going to make a lot of space for us here. I have x times y, and what I'm plugging in for y is the 1 plus x squared plus y squared. And again, what I'm plugging in for y is a 1 plus x squared minus whatever we get when we plug in the lower limit of integration. So, make some big parentheses here. Plugging in the lower limit of integration, y equals 2x squared, we're going to have an x times 2x squared plus y squared. And substituting in for y, we have a 2x squared squared. Okay, let's tidy this up before we do any more work to compute the uh, next integral. If we tidy this up, we work out and find that we got a negative 3x to the fourth minus x cubed plus a 2x squared plus x plus 1. And now we do the antiderivative with respect to x. And we have a negative 3 fifths x to the fifth minus 1 fourth x to the 4 plus 2 thirds x cubed plus a 1 half x squared plus x and that's going to get evaluated from negative 1 to 1 and if you plug that in your final answer turns out to be 32 over 15.